Good morning, Core Math 2 students. This is week one, lesson two, and it is all about scale factor. So this is a quick refresher or reminder on working with scale factor, similar to how we worked on it uh, right before we left for spring break. So as a reminder, scale factor is for us to take the new size or the image's size and divide by the old or pre-image size. And so as a reminder, on our new shape, it will be marked as A prime, B prime, C prime, with those little apostrophes. The old shape or the original pre-image uh, will just have those regular letter labels for the vertex points. So here in example one, we're taking a look at triangle ABC and then A prime, B prime, C prime. So with all of those primes there, this is the new shape, the new shape. And so for us to find that scale factor, we need to take a value or a size or a length from that new shape and divide by the corresponding length on the old shape. So here in example one, our scale factor, we're going to put the side length of six on the top for the new shape, and that corresponds to 12.5 on the old shape. So that same length from uh, B prime to C prime, um, and so we'll take 6 divided by the 12.5, and that's 0 .48, 0 0.48. And on delta math, you can type in that decimal. It will accept it exactly as is. If you prefer to find the uh, simplest fraction form of that by using the math menu and going to fraction, um, you could also write it as 12 25ths and Delta Math will also accept that as a correct answer. The great part about the Delta Math calculator, just in case you don't have your own at home that can do that, is that Delta Math has that capability in their calculator. So I'll definitely post a video showing you how to do that just in case you need it. Then here on example two, we have E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, uh, and the other quadrilateral EFGH. So on the left here, with all of those primes, this is our new shape. So it never hurts to identify that or mark that right off the bat. So if we're finding the scale factor for this dilation, for this change, uh, we would want to use the new side length, the 36, and divide by the corresponding length in the old shape. So we're gonna take 36 divided by eight, and when we do that, we get another decimal, we get 4.5. And again, that's perfectly correct for the scale factor. But if you're wanting to convert that into a fraction form, you could also write that as nine halves. One or the other is gonna work great. So that's just a quick recap on scale factor. Head on over to Delta Math and try out some practice problems. Thanks and have a great day.